Hey everybody, welcome to the first actual episode of the Tech of Things podcast. I'm Zach, your host. I'm here with Jake. Say hi, Jake. Hey, I'm Jake. Uh, so today we got some good things in store for you. A uh, little overview, a little insight. We are uh, looking into a couple features of iOS 14 that just recently released. Uh, after that, we are going to be talking to you today about IoT, the Internet of Things. Uh, where tech's kind of going, um, it's kind of there right now a little bit, kind of, kind of at the, at the beginning of it all. Um, but this is a this is a great piece of tech, a good thing to start off on on episode one. Um, so Jake's got a couple things to say oh, here, yeah. and we'll, uh, we'll get into it. So uh, we do have to go over some copyright stuff. Uh, music for this intro that's currently playing is called EDM Detection Mode by Kevin MacLeod. Uh, links will be on screen, uh, until under the Creative Commons License 4.0. I hope, I hope I, I said all that, said that all properly. So, let's get into our hot tech today. Alright, so hot tech of the day, uh, or I guess for the week, hot, the or, top, yeah, week. topic of the week. We're gonna do a hot topic of the week every week. Uh, this week's hot topic is iOS 14, um, Couple of cool things. We're just going to touch on a couple of features. Uh, my favorite one right now is the is the the uh, the widgets. Uh, so you can kind of throw that up on the screen, Jake, whenever you're ready. Um, the uh, Apple has has used to have widgets way back in the day, and they kind of sucked and and they weren't that great. But now they've kind of they've kind of tweaked them and perfected them. It only took them you know a couple of years. Only like what, um, like I, a decade or something? It's nah. I'm, you keep your Android mouth shut over there. Oh, um, really? <laughs> okay, sorry. I'm sorry that like we've had widgets for the last how however many years. Yeah, but you know, Apple Apple takes what Android makes and and does it better. I, <laughs> they always do. So basically, iPhone was PlayStation. Well, I mean, yeah, you come out with it first, but you rush it, and then that, Apple just does it better. Um, okay. Yeah. The, sure. But whatever. <laughs> But these, so these widgets, and I, I don't know if if you still got that screen up and rolling, Jake. Yep, if you want I still flash, do. If you want to flash that again, uh, a couple widgets like like the your Notepad, uh, recently played music, calendar, weather. I like the weather widget a lot. Uh, being able to uh, wake up beginning of the day and scroll over, and not even have to open an app. Just oh swipe, yeah, you know, just swipe a screen over, and right there's your widgets open, ready for you to view. Yeah, um, that, that actually so, is pretty nice. So it's so it's it's pretty slick. It's pretty slick, and I've uh, so I I actually you know about two months ago I actually got the the iOS 14 beta. I was a I was a beta tester for for the iOS 14. So I've been kind of tweaking with the widgets and playing around with them. Um, 
another one another one of the widgets that i that i that i do enjoy is uh is the battery widget um so if you've got like airpods your apple watch your phone there's a battery widget on there that uh, that will show you the battery percentages of all of them that you know right right on the screen um it, that that That's used to awesome. be kind of, yeah that used to be um in i think it was in uh i think there was a battery uh thing in uh there's a battery checker in the notifications bar. Yeah. Um, the, Cause Apple actually took away the battery percentage off the top off the battery on, on your main screen. Really? Yeah. So to, to see your battery percentage, you had to actually swipe down and on your, on your control center uh, and, okay. and to view the battery percentage. Um, so that was, I mean, it was a little bit of a nuisance, but people kind of quieted up about it when they realized how easy it was to find the battery percentage. Yeah. Um, but now being able to have that widget back and just have it on your home screen and have all of your devices on that, on that battery percentage is, is pretty, is pretty slick. Oh yeah. But, um, okay. But, but there is two things that I don't like about the widgets. Me personally, I am a Android user. I can resize all of my widgets. If I want my weather to be super small, I can make it super small. If I want to take up the entire screen, I can also can't be in the center of the screen. Why Apple? Why? That's like I've got one. I've got one. So I've got one in the center of the screen, and you can see my my. Yes, but 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 that stretches the entire screen. Yeah, it. it uh, I can't take uh, the. Uh, yeah, I can't yeah, take a four I, by four or sorry two by two widget, place it in the middle of the screen. Yeah. So you. Yeah. I get Apple does Apple. You know because of the way the apps fall. You know very very specific about the placement. Where whereas you know Android is almost like a Windows like device like Windows yeah. like desktop where you can kind of drag and drop it wherever yeah. you want that 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 feature would be nice but then at the same time like that that's what kind of separates Apple on like their home screens as being is is the is the the blocky organized um, uh, apps and widgets I guess oh, where, yeah, where yeah, they're, yeah. Where they're placement um, and not being able you know not dragging them you know having them all like the it it, uh, it gets yeah. put into the next available slot. Yeah, it's col- columns and rows, and that's uh, that's as good as you can organize something. Yeah, there's, there's columns. And oh rows yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and and things like that. Um, another another uh, cool feature I wanted to to talk on is the compacted uh, phone. The 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 compacted you know dialer. Um, so Which is there on screen you know, now? Yeah, so phone call comes in. You're in the middle of scrolling through Facebook. You know, you're in the middle of watching a video. Uh, it used to, whenever someone would call you, it would completely shut you out of the app, and you would either have to answer or ignore it. Um, so my, uh, I, I, uh, I'm, I'm one known for letting the phone ring. <laughs> yeah. You know, not so I, so people don't know that I'm purposely ignoring you. So I, I like this a lot. I can still scroll through Facebook and read, you know, read a Reddit article. Um, if uh, if I'm getting a phone call, then I can blatantly ignore you without having. Without, oh yeah. Without, without without you ruining my, you know, my my search through my apps. I don't have to sit there and wait. Yeah. For uh, for for um, uh, for uh, you to stop trying to to call me to to continue what i was doing yeah especially for the people who if you don't answer will call three more times don't just don't oh my 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 wife is horrible at that if if <laughs> if, if i don't answer the first time she's calling multiple. three four yeah no no i don't i don't purposely ignore my wife uh but yeah you know, sometimes i'm busy and or i'm on the phone with somebody else and she'll she will call until i answer <laughs> <laughs> but uh um but yeah so so just having that having that compacted uh phone and they also uh compacted siri um yes they did if it so when you so whenever you uh whenever you either hold down your your lock button or say hey siri I'm waiting for my phone to uh do it wait, I was waiting for my phone to, to to beep and go off okay um it's it's compacted the 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 Siri um the Siri kind of like AI voice thing like circle at the bottom is still is still there, um, but uh, but it uh, when we didn't we didn't grab a pic we didn't grab an image of yeah. that. Um, Sorry guys, it's still, it's still down at the it's down at the bottom of the screen, but again won't 
completely take out your entire screen while Siri is is doing, doing her Siri thing. things. Okay, but there is one issue with that. Is it's according to whenever the beta was out, um you can't do anything when Siri is still active. It you still have to exit Siri to use scr- use apps or scroll through your Reddit, Facebook, Twitter feed, whatever. Right, and I mean that's and that's not a, an unlikely feature. I mean, if you're asking if you're asking Siri for something, you're you're waiting for an answer, and oh, yeah. you're not really scrolling through there. So so yeah, it it makes sense to have to actually close Siri. Um, but it's some, but sometimes it would, uh, on, on the older iOS, I believe it would, if you asked, asked Siri something, it would, uh, completely like kick you, you know, close your app altogether. You'd have to swipe, you know, you'd have to swipe or hit the home button to get out of the Siri page, um, altogether. Now it's, now it's just, you know, you, you swipe out of it and, and you're still in your app. Yeah, so which, it's, which is nice. Um, it's, it's definitely better than it was previously, but still something that like would make sense to still kind of have um from a like you know cross referencing point because... and, and I don't I don't use Siri yeah. very often. Who really uses so Siri? I haven't, I haven't actually I haven't actually tested that since the beta if you're able to scroll through scroll through anything um uh, while while the Siri thing was open. I mean I guess I could test it, you know, yeah. give it a test right now to confirm. Live uh, on Recording, live, uh, live, live test. Yeah. Hey Siri. Nope. So, hey Siri. Uh huh. What time is it? Yep. See, as soon as I start trying to scroll through Facebook while it, I'm talking, Siri closes out. Wait. So, what? Okay. First of all, what was that voice? Oh, that's my that's my Australian Siri. Oh my gosh, dude! It sounded like something. It sounded like some like Poe thing from this game called Poe. Yeah, so so that's actually one of the features. There's actually a bunch of different. Uh, I've got a, I've got a page pulled up here, but uh, yeah, Siri, uh, compact UI, expanded knowledge. Um, you can actually now send audio messages. Like it'll Siri will record your voice and send it as an audio message. Sweet. Um, and then new uh, new voices in more languages. Okay. Uh, there's English, Australia, India, Ireland, South Africa, UK, US, French, German, Spanish, Mandarin, Mandarin, uh, yeah, Mandarin, Chinese, and Japanese. Uh, Sweet. All 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 voices available. Voices um, and accents available in Siri. Um, speaking um, on languages, uh, th- there's also a stock translator app now, which is. Yes, little I, late, used that, but... I used that. Uh, I used it a little bit in the in the beta, and I was it was it was a little it was a little finicky. Um, yeah. in the beta. I haven't I haven't used it since the actual iOS fourteen rolled out yet either. Um, but uh, it would it it worked fairly well. Other than you know a couple you know a couple mis mishaps on a few words in uh, in in the beta, but uh, but no, it's, 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 it's it's beta. It's, it's you know. It's uh, Apple doing their things to uh, open new doors and uh, compete with I mean, Android. I know, I know and Android Google. probably had Google Translate on there, but Google Translate, Google Translate is why I got a C in Spanish. Really? My sophomore year of high school, I I, gave, I had given up. Uh, I had <laughs> given up awesome. on actually trying to learn Spanish. So a lot of my homework was done in Google Translate, <laughs> and and uh, it, it, oh yeah, it, gosh, it got it got enough right. Hey, C's get degrees, man. C's get degrees, um, and A's get even better degrees and yeah. sponsorships. <laughs> or, 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 sorry, um, it's scholarship, sponsorship, same thing, basically. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So, <laughs> Google Translate did not uh, did not get a lot of the words correct. I mean, it was a Spanish word that meant kind of the same thing, but not in the right context. Context. Uh, so, so yeah, Google Google Translate kind of kind of shot me in the foot there. <laughs> Um, but, uh, anyway, moving on, uh, the last thing that, and then I actually think this is a bit ridiculous. This, this next thing we're going to, I think it's a bit overkill. It's a bit ridiculous. And it actually slows the speeds of the phone down. Um, uh, it's cool that you're able to do it, but just the functionality of it makes me wonder why people spend two, three, four hours doing this on their phone. And it's the custom icons and backgrounds and oh yes what, that 
So, so what you what don't you realize about this, Jake, is that uh, is that each one of those icons is created in what's called uh, Apple shortcuts. Oh um, no! Yeah, that's so, all custom. Each one, not even like a downloadable data pack. No, no. So the so they're tr- so they're trying to prevent people from 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 doing continually doing the jailbreaks. You know, and, and Apple's gotten better at you know trying to make making it harder and harder to people to jailbreak the phones. Okay. And and so this is a way for people to have some kind of custom ability uh, of the of the apps and stuff. But it cre- so it, it creates a shortcut to the app. Oh. So, so when you click on that actual like, is, is the is the image still up? Yep, it's still up. So when you click on one of those apps, it actually takes you to the shortcut and then opens the app. So it's actually a, oh. it actually it's a longer process. Okay. To that's that 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 is very interesting because it is cool to be able to do that, but. If you are like one of us and you're trying to show someone something or do something. Also, person who sent me this seriously needs to charge their phone. Um they it sh- it should be an easier thing to do and shouldn't be a slowing down the process of getting to your apps. Yeah, no, it's uh, so yeah, and the reason then there's a there is a there is a way around it. It's a little bit more, you know, there's a there's another hack to to get around it opening the shortcut first and just shooting straight to the app um it's like you have to like put in some kind of embedded link mm. into the into the into the shortcut uh so it just goes straight to that link that goes that is to your app app okay um so um so it's it's kind of quite ridiculous and my my brother and had just spent like two or three hours the other night doing doing it and putting in putting all that together and so it's it's kind of ridiculous how how that uh how that has kind of come about but it's cool that you can do it oh yeah i'm not going i'm not going to do it because it's gonna because it's it's a lot of time for a little for a little bit of reward yeah i mean i'm not you know i'm not uh i'm not a a 13 14 year old kid in high school anymore and sorry jake um <laughs> but uh but i'm not uh so I'm not I'm not the person who who wants to customize their phone and make it yeah. cool. So when people are looking over my shoulder, they see, oh, yeah. he's got a really cool, he's got a really cool setup there. I mean, yeah, I, I like the widget. I I'm over. I I'm 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 functionality before before looks uh, looks. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm functionality over looks. That's anyway. uh form before uh or no function before form, I think right. Yeah, yeah, something like that. I, uh, yeah, so, and some, and, and a lot of people. Oh, I just lost you. You lost me. Uh, yeah, your, uh, your audio cut. Am I back? Yep, you're back. Okay. Uh, sorry about that. Technical difficulties on the tech show. Uh, um, <laughs> that did not um, happen. This- uh, so yeah, so the, a lot of people, a lot of people I know are form over function and love the fact that they can customize everything. Oh yeah. I'm, I'm a guy. I'm, I'm more of a guy. Tell me how this works. Show me how it works. And I'm just going to leave it how I know it works. I'm not yeah. going to go changing things because putting, putting another, putting another step in the way is putting another, you know, putting another, uh, step in the way for failure. Yeah. You know, and it's another, it's another, it's another part of the process that could potentially fail. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm sure everyone's had, you know, opened an app and the app crashed. Yeah. What happens when? Sh- what happens if Apple pushes an update and for whatever reason, shortcuts don't work? You're kind then of entire, your entire phone yeah. is a paperweight. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, so so those are the kinds of things that that uh, people need to think about before they go start editing all of these all of these apps and stuff on there. Um, but that's my two cents. Uh, I don't know how you feel about it, Jake, but uh, um. It it makes it slower. Um, that's really my only issue with it. I don't have any personal experience with it. I don't have an iPhone. Uh, iPhone will probably yeah. be the next phone for me though, because well, iPhones have excellent cameras. Um, Come to the dark side, Jacob. No. <laughs> I uh, what's uh, 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 what's I I I have a I have a high ground. <laughs> I have a technological high ground. High ground. 
and you think that, but anyways, yeah, I do. So, so that about wraps it up for for what we've got on iOS 14. Uh, if you'd like us to do some more research and go into depth on iOS 14 again in the near future, uh, drop us a comment, shoot us a message. Um, Join the Discord server, which we will yeah. have linked below on the YouTube. And yeah, the link to the Discord server will again, be in, link, the, in the link below. And link below and, again on Twitch. Yep. So, if, yeah, if that's something you want us to talk about again, let us know. We'll oppose oh. to anything. Yep, we are not opposed to anything. So, uh, but all right. So now for the bread and butter of the episode, um, IOT, IOT, um, the fun thing of we, IOT. We, so we've kind of broken it down into into four into four questions of five of, total, uh, of, but yeah, five five total. One, the last one, we're not going to give any facts on. It's just kind of our opinion. Uh, so four questions. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and drop them questions for you, so you guys can maybe think your own answers. Um, if you if you know anything about IoT, but uh, then we'll kind of go through them. Uh, so we're going to cover what is IoT, what devices are currently using IoT, um, how how do we currently use IoT, and then uh, safety and security. What what is what is the safety and security of IoT devices? Um, so starting off, uh, what is IoT? IoT is the Internet of Things, uh, describes the network of physical objects, things uh, that are embedded with sensors uh, on the network. Um, so basically, it's uh, basically um, uh, think of this as like, so think my bottle of water. This, yes. Think of it as a network device. Okay. Thinking. Um, so. From my phone, I should be able. If we're as long as I'm at on my home Wi-Fi, uh, well, actually, no, not even. That's not even true anymore. Um, I can be anywhere in the world, and so say this. So say my bottle of water is a lamp, and I leave my house, but it's 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 home automation. I can be heading home, you know, and sitting at a stoplight, and I want the, I want my my living room to be turned on. Uh, I go to the home automation or the the app that uh, that's that's linked to this this lamp that's on my that's on my home network, and I can turn my lamp on from anywhere. Yes, uh, that is very cool. Um, and if you guys have Xboxes, uh, it was sometime last year that they actually came out with support for the Xbox, uh, for the yep. uh, Xbox yeah. One. Uh, PS4 X, did PS4 did the thing too, or but you had to be from the from the PlayStation app. You could turn your PlayStation on and off from the app. Yeah. Um. um I think I think though I think it had to be hardwired in though. I don't remember uh, on that. Uh, again, hmm. I, I also I am I'm Xbox PC guy. He's PS4. Boo. So, uh, but uh, but yeah. So so that's kind of what IoT is and how and I I kind of shot in on kind of how we use it yeah um but uh but i'll, I'll let you that's your question i'll let you go into no. more detail on that or yes I, yes it actually <laughs> uh, but, is uh, that's right but it's, not, it's, not, it's not your turn yet i know um, that <laughs> so what kind of devices use iot um so things like uh like uh your google home or your alexa um are are Use, are currently using IoT that sync with certain devices like your Fire TVs, uh, your Smart Locks, um, your uh, Roomba vacuums. Those use IoT. Those need, you know, um, your smart switches, lights, things like that. Philip, the Philips Hue, uh, all IoT. So things in that kind of uh, things, all in that kind of. Uh, oh, here's a, this is a cool one. The thermostat. I love, 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 love having a Nest thermostat that. Is connected IoT because I whenever I travel and go go to the you know go down to the beach for a week and I leave the house and I was like oh shoot forgot to forgot to you know adjust the adjust the thermostat we're not going to be home so you know crank up the AC to like eighty degrees and leave it you know if it gets above eighty degrees in the house then then the AC kicks on a little bit yeah. just to keep kind of keep things rolling um, but yeah the, the thermostat thing is 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 I really enjoy having that. 
Um, I haven't, I, I'm working on kind of upgrading my, my house. I've been in my house for about a year and I've kind of working on now that I've got kind of the, the construction, you know, side of it kind of finished, um, trying to, uh, trying to, uh, upgrade some of the switches and the lights and stuff to kind of do the, the smart home, the smart home thing, which is, which is pretty, pretty interesting. Um. Trying to look through here. I've got a list here. I'm trying to think of any uh, if there was any other uh, standout. Um, if there was any standout devices um, that were that were pretty cool. Um, there's a, this is actually cool. There's a universal remote that can be programmed to to almost any device that's using that uses IoT technology. That's actually awesome. I, I yeah didn't realize that. I, um, it's uh, it's made by Logi- Logitech. Uh, Logitech okay. Harmony Universal Remote. It's actually Ooh. got like a touch screen on it. It's actually pretty sweet really? looking. So basically, yeah. it's like another smartphone, pretty much. Yep. That's yeah. awesome. I love it. Also, my green so. screen is kind of bugging out down down in the corners. I'm sorry about that. Don't know why. Hmm. Logitech Harmony. Get our listeners a price on that thing if they are uh, if they are interested. Uh, Logitech Harmony Elite Remote Control Hub and App, uh, two seventy nine for anybody who's interested in the in the in the full package. Uh, that ain't bad. So there's a, a, dev- a device hub, universal remote. So I'm assuming probably from this thing you can control your lights and switches and TVs and and nice. the whole nine yards. Uh, yeah, and uh, Amazon, it's Amazon certified, works with Amaz- uh, works with all Alexa devices. That's absolutely awesome. I just flashed yeah. something up so maybe it would, uh, my green screen would stop bugging, but. <laughs> so, uh, so, that's, so that's pretty cool. So the devices, um, there's going to, these are, uh, these are just some of the most popular ones. There's a, a ton, you know, um, some your alarm system sensors, uh, do that you know iot um uh, i believe xfinity uh, stuff does i'm not sure about simply safe um but yeah most of your alarm stuff does and i i, I know that i i've made uh you know to make uh like printers and stuff work you know via iot um you know being able to um you know within a software being able to to print uh, print to uh printers via iot um as long as the software is embedded on the one network i could print you know i could print for, to a printer in texas if i'm using you know if i'm if i'm uh plugged into the to the link yeah uh here so um providing you know providing it's all been all been set up correctly yeah you can uh end, endless possibilities on what you can do with iot uh, and and the, and its devices so, um, so now we'll, we'll roll in. Now we've got the devices and what it, and what it is. Touch on a little bit on how we use it. Jake, take it away on how, on, on how do we actually use, you know, how do we use IoT daily? Um, so, um, for those of you that, that have some medical issues, um, if you have a lot of doctor's appointments, you could be using telemedicine, um, which will allow you to get all your stuff from cloud and, and your doctors to, send stuff and labs to send stuff which is absolutely awesome um according to this one area um some glucose monitoring mon- mon- monitoring devices spit it out junior oh <laughs> I, ca- I cannot say that word for some reason um so some of those do that Um, another thing is, is, um, is the smart greenhouses, um, which is, which is also so, kind of what you touched on with. So, so they're monitoring plants and, and, and hitting, hitting the sprinklers yep. and, and turning on the heat lamps and stuff for when, when they, when they need to be watered or, or, and, and some sunshine. That's yeah. pretty, that's pretty sweet. Because, um, for those of you that actually eat vegetables or only eat vegetables, <laughs> Um, that can be very awesome because it means possibly cheaper prices because they're getting more 
per uh crop plant. Um, crop pl is, is that it? Wait, wait, I don't I don't know. Never mind. Moving on. Um, so in some of our wearables, uh, such as like uh smartwatches, um, and some of those things that can also be a IoT device. Um. If I, think, I think I think Fitbit was kind of the first. I mean, Fit. I think Fitbit's been out longer than uh, than like the smartwatches have. They, that's my, the fit. Yeah. So Fitbit. You know, you could uh, it would while you're running, your phone's in the pocket, or if it's in the arm pouch or whatever, and you're running, it, it would it had. I remember it had a little tiny. The yes. first Fitbit had like a little tiny LCD screen that would yeah. display and, your messages across and, there. And and it was probably like what like two inches by like half an inch or so it was yeah. super my, my parents actually had i i know my dad had one um i was like man i really want one um and now i have one of the actual smartwatch uh variants which is the like versa or something like that um they're they're awesome you get everything yeah, so, and yeah, anything from cause, them because uh I know that I know they worked with with Apple and Android, um, but yeah, it's, it's kind of that's kind of the thing is is being able to ping, being able to ping and send and send and uh, send and receive a response. That's um, with, absolutely uh, and that, awesome. And that's, bas that's basically that's basically it to to IoT is basically ping it, send us send a response, receive it, receive an action. Mm -hmm. So, um, which is absolutely awesome. Um. Maybe you have some, um, uh, this is something that I actually had to do, was, um, was have a heart monitor for a, a bit of time. Those, some of them are IoT. You s send your signal when your heart's freaking out, or whatever. So you're, so you're not hooked up to wires and computers all, you know, all day long. You yeah. actually transmit wirelessly, yep. um, to, to a, to a phone or an app or, or a monitor. That's pretty, um, that's pretty slick. Which, which then it hits that and then heads out to the main data processing mm -hmm. unit uh, out in wherever. And then it hits my doctor, which was awesome. Um, and it's awesome how that stuff works because you don't have to be all wired up. Um, awesome. Awesome. Uh, according here, um, also um, your speed limit signs of the tech of the like. Uh, LED ones that will say, okay, I'm going to deploy it out at Main Street. Speed limit's 25. Back at Speed HQ, I'm just saying whatever. We'll ping that and then say who's because, going over that. Huh. So, so in the future, I guess we'll be seeing... Uh seeing a little bit more speed and tickets handed yeah. out to them. eventually eventually they're gonna be able to ping a camera and snap an image of your license plate if you if you yeah. drive by that. Right now right right now they've got people sitting in the cars, cars. on in the work zones. Yeah. yeah. So but, that's all handled that's all handled right there. That's an algorithm all handled locally. Probably there's actually like a actually some kind of on onboard PC that runs that setup. It, it yeah. if, if that if that if that rear sensor sees that you're speeding you know going faster than than the, the allotted speed limit once it once you reach the certain position it goes off of uh, calculates some algorithm on that onboard pc to know exactly when to take the picture um, yeah which and, and grab you yeah which is awesome that they're doing that because you know if, if i'm standing out in the middle of the road fixing a pipe or something i don't want to be standing by cars going 50 miles an hour. Not a thing that I would w want to be doing. Um, right. <laughs> right. That just does not sound fun. Um, so, um, I, so I do want to talk on the security of it now. Um, yeah. You know, tell me about, tell me about, uh, tell me about why, the. Uh, it, is is this something that's that's fairly you know it's fairly safe or is this you know um, pretty pretty or is this pretty you know I mean I don't think they're going to get my credit card information very very easily they, but uh, I mean is this something is this something where if I if I've got my home security system set up on you know set up fully through IoT are they going to be able to pick it off and they, and like unlock my front door and turn off my alarm? They actually could. Um, it 
it depends on what kind of system. Um, some are easily patched, and some aren't. You know, we need to update our devices regularly from a code standpoint. Um, if you're into gaming or something, you understand that. As bugs come out, they need to be fixed. Um, so, so, so I, got, I do have a question for you. Um, if, if the so each device kind of has like a device ID that's a, like that that's assigned uh, via IoT, um, and those are all synced to my app. Are they are those devices able to be synced uh, to another app at the same correspondingly or is that something that 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 you did? Did you come across anything like that in your research? I did not. Um, I'm assuming that it could. Kind of like, kind of like reading between the lines of of the stuff that, that I had read. Um, this is just an assumption. I'm not saying that that, that that's the answer to this question. I'm not saying that's factual, but I'm assuming that it is. Um, is that. Um, maybe don't. Let... I, I would be. I would be interested to test. Like, uh, if I had you come over to my house, and because with my, especially with my security system, um, you come over to my house, you download um, um, the the security system app that I have on my phone, and see if you can try to add the same devices that that I have, um, onto your app. And see to be able to see if 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 uh, if it says that hey this is already assigned to to so and so or this is already yeah. this device is already assigned to a different to a different uh, you know user uh, yeah um, because I know I ran into I ran into that issue I bought and I bought a Nest thermostat used um, and I had to, you know for a couple of days I had to kind of go back and forth with uh, with the person I bought it from to get it unassigned from their Oh yeah, Google, yeah, yeah, from their, yeah, from their account, um, so that I so that I'd be able to. I mean, it, it worked. I mean, it cooled my house down um, when I right off the bat when I installed it. But to get it to, to get it synced to the smart home, um, I had to. I had they had to unlink it from their from their actual accounts on on their apps. Um, so they thought that they had thought they could just delete their apps and everything would be okay. That's not. <laughs> so, yeah, no, that's it's still yeah. it's still linked in the. Uh... It's still linked in the cloud. Yeah. Um, so yeah. So it was it was a couple of days back and forth getting that uh, getting like even even factory resetting the device didn't uh, didn't help. That's actually really good. For it's really good from a security standpoint because it's still keeping its data. Yeah, because because the because the clouds you know not going off of the the actual like IP yeah. address of the of the device, it's going off the the MAC address or the device ID. Yeah. Um. And oh, as long yeah, as that, yeah. as long as long as that device ID you know holds true, you're you know I don't think you'll be able to to bounce that back and forth between multiple multiple apps. I mean, I had I shared I sh I was able to share uh, our system with my with my wife and her app. Right. Okay, yeah. With with different login credentials to to her app, but I was able to share that with her. Um Yeah. from 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 an, from an admin standpoint. Yeah. Um which probably without admin like permission, um it it would probably be very difficult unless, you know, hackers are fairly smart. They could get the admin cred credentials. Um and that may not take any other verification other than the admin login password um that's why put in 90 day password stipulations on, on all your passwords yeah change your password every 90 days, days. I, i'd actually need to start doing that because i use a undisclosed password manager and i should probably change its master password fairly regularly yep because that would be a bad thing to have happen Okay, m moving on from the whole password thing. That's that's a that's a whole different type of security. Um but um there there wasn't really a whole lot of thought into the first security um of just making fairly simple security steps. Um and because there were flaws in the newer and older code um which we could run tests to actually fix those things, run source code tests. Um, and also allow a patching uh, system, so then we can go in and actually fix the code if it's already been deployed into our, you know, webcams and stuff. 
Yeah. Um, because hackers are targeting um, our webcams and routers because once you hit, especially the router, once you hit that, you can hit anything on on your IP. Yeah. Um, which is kind of terrifying. Um, <clears throat> that's why VPNs are awesome. Um, just from a standpoint of yeah, at the same not, point. So once I mean. Oh, the, oh, they're good, but they're also bad because, again, IP. Yeah, I mean, it, I mean, at the same time, a hairy, hairy homeowner is not going to have, you know, a you know a um, a firewall and connected with a VPN tunnel. Yeah. Uh, to you know, uh, your your stand your standard router, your standard Netgear router, um, does does the job. Yeah. Um, you know, you can you can always set up. You know, on initial setup, you know, it's it's fairly easy to to uh, during the setup process of the new router of uh, getting notifications of incoming traffic. Yeah. Um. That that wasn't requested. You know, if it, if if the ping wasn't requested from your internal network, uh, why is there stuff coming in other than like yeah. updates or whatever? Yep. Other yeah. Other than auto updates that that just get automatically pushed, um, but still that would uh, that would even still require a a ping from the from the internal network. Yeah. So so I mean it's 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 not it's not uncommon, but uh, you know, the, just just your standard your standard uh, your standard router. Now I wouldn't go out and buy a thirty dollar router. The, you know, that's probably gonna get hacked. Store, I, you know, I would not go probably... to Wally World and buy an off router. Yeah. Because so I would, I would, you know, and I would do your research. Always yeah. do your research before you go out and buy something, some kind of piece of tech uh, that and that request that that did that handles your that handles handles your work. Yeah. <laughs> so because a chain is as strong as its weakest link. Uh, you hear that everywhere. It feels like um, if you have a weak piece of tech. If it's on your IoT network or on the IoT network, hackers hit that, they hit everything connected to it. Yep, exactly. Exactly. So, uh, well, we are kind of coming up on kind of a close to a close here. Oh, yeah. Um, so the last uh, the last thing we wanted to touch on is kind of just each each one of our opinions is uh, – is, uh, where do we see IoT in three to five years? Uh, new, better connected devices. Um, maybe go away from Bluetooth. I know Bluetooth is kind of the standard today, but yep, yep. Uh, so I, yeah, I kind, I kind of see it going. Uh, I mean, we're gonna, have, we're oh. gonna have all kinds of things. Uh all kinds of devices on iot and to be to be quite honest with you i wouldn't be surprised if if iot was uh was almost outdated in five years oh yeah i wouldn't be surprised uh we're we're kind of rolling into i mean i kind of grew up in in the in the tech age um you know i remember like i said i remember uh i remember going to the gateway store with my parents and getting the first (laughs) desktop pc which was about you know the fir- the first desktops were about you know seventy five pounds. <laughs> you know, and the first, the still first ran on floppy disks. Seventy five pounds. Ran and, ran and, on floppy disks or uh, floppy disks. Yeah. Yep. And uh, so who's then, calling me? Go just, away. Yeah. Just just in a few just in a few short years, you know those kind of things uh, uh, got so much better and so much better and so much better. Uh, I kind of feel like we're already kind of rolling into the the tech age wave two. Oh yeah, um, things things kind of flatlined there for 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 a little for a couple years. Um, I mean, you know, you still had your all. Oh, hey, this is cool. This is cool. This is cool. Um, but, but, but things kind of flatlined there for 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 a handful. You know, maybe I would say maybe two two years. The thing kind of flatlined. Um, but um, now. I think we're kind of hitting that that second wave of just tech just flying flying off the off the radar, yeah. um, and and cooler things happening each day. Um, so I I feel like honestly I kind of feel like IoT might be 
might be obsolete in five years. It might find yeah. a better way to do it. Like, and uh, I think it could be obsolete before its time has like even come. Um, yeah. Who is that? Hmm. I, oh, I thought I heard like someone talking in the background. It okay. might be. It might be my wife watching TV upstairs. Oh, okay. It might be a little loud. Um. But yeah, no. It's uh. So yeah, I th- I feel like if it if if everything's not on IoT, you know, if every kind of simple device is not is not on IoT in the next five years, then IoT will actually probably be obsolete. Yeah. Um. um because because everything because we're starting to get a lot of new tech a lot of new a lot of new discoveries that that haven't been made yet um and if, i could i could be i could be absolutely wrong oh IoT yeah could stick, iot could stick around for the next 20 years until you know until somehow we're able to to run air fiber yeah that would be <laughs> and then and uh, yeah, until until we're able to to run internet over electromagnetic frequencies. Yeah. So, and so, um, which I don't see are, that those, happening yet. That I think that's a little. Yeah, there, there, was a, there was a movie about that. I forget. Uh, I forget what the movie was, but there was a movie about that. That's a kind of a that that's kind of a concept. Yeah. Um, I don't but know. Uh, but. Um, yeah, so I I think so. We'll shorten it down. And so yeah. in the next two to three years, I think we'll. Uh, I mean, we're already able to now iOS fourteen. Yeah, iOS fourteen. You know, first to do this, be able to start your car without having without using a without using a uh, remote service. Yeah. Um. From from your phone, uh, unlock and lock your car with, without having to use remote service from your phone. As long as your car supports um, it's all, it. It's actually, yeah. So it's a uh, CarPlay now believe CarPlay. it or not what's that apple carplay um mm-hmm. so right now so currently i would be able to plug my phone usb into the car and my phone would then display on the on the the dash the the dash screen um <sighs> that's awesome with with limit with limited capabilities like i'm not be i'm not gonna be able to sit there and type text out yeah you know, finger poking the screen um you're poking <laughs> While while I'm driving, no, yeah. but uh, but you, it uh, CarPlay allowed uh, allowed um, vehicles to read uh, read voice uh, voice text uh, or read text uh, and then voice and then voice reply voice to text reply. Um, Waze uh, was a uh, was uh, then displayed full screen on there. Apple Maps were displayed oh, full screen nice. on there. So those kind of things. So so with CarPlay 2.0, I believe that's what they're calling it. CarPlay 2.0 is uh, uh, is what uh, is is actually a piece is actually you know being able to lock and unlock cars and, I, and that's using you know that's kind of using IoT uh, technology to kind of to kind of handle that. Um, Apple CarPlay. I think it just might be a new edition of it. Yeah, um, but it, what, in the in the beta talks, it was it was CarPlay 2.0 is yeah. what they're calling. It. But, now, but yeah, it's just so it's just CarPlay. So when it, yeah, so with, with Apple, when it when everything's kind of in the works, they give it you know they say a 2.0 yeah. or 2.1, you know, the, the yeah. ver- basically the version of it. Um, but then but once it's released, you know it's just, it's just it's just uh, you know CarPlay or Siri yeah. or because Siri is on because Siri is like Siri. 6.0 or something yeah. or 6.4 or something now but uh but it's just it's it's just siri yeah just <laughs> um call it what it is it's siri it's just a new version or update of siri yep so i mean i mean that's the where this is going i mean it's we're already able to automate our houses always already able to to stink and unlock and start our cars oh our yeah phones. um the the possibilities are endless you know and soon people are going to be you know cooking you know uh you know cooking and i mean we're already cleaning you know there's a vacuum yeah um uh i think there's a new uh like faucet system coming out i i know it supports voice command i'm not sure i saw that if you've got something over there you can yeah if you've got like a picture underneath of there you can tell like from your phone you can tell it how big the picture picture is is. yeah and, and it'll and you can walk away like it'll fill it up 
yeah, if you've got a big pitcher here, you and you gotta because I hate that like, you start filling up the pitcher, but then you, and gotta, you gotta hit the bathroom. The, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and you gotta you stand gotta there, tell. or maybe if you have a super smart dog, as it did show in the in the ad. Um, I do remember a super smart dog dropping its food, uh, dropping its water dish into the sink as a sign of fill me up. He says, yeah, and 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 the guy says. I think I I think they were using the Alexa system for yeah. that, but they said, "Hey Alexa, fill up dog bowl." Because I because yeah, it, it's, it's not like you can set presets, which is really cool. Yeah. And to me, that seems like the most ridiculous thing I have ever heard. Is, I know <laughs> is, that, is 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 an automated faucet. I mean, I mean, I see the benefits of it. Cause, I mean, it's always that I need to fill up the I need to fill up this this two gallon pitcher. And it takes a while to dump for my faucet to dump out two gallons of water, well, and I yeah. gotta hit the bathroom, <laughs> or or maybe entertain guests or something, you know, right. whatever. Right. So yeah, it's the most, it's 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 kind of quite ridiculous, but I mean that's that's where it's going. I mean, tech, you know, the smart people are making us lazy. <laughs> yeah, I don't like it. So, but uh, but you know, that's just kind of where it's going. Oh, also. But, uh, green screen just just fix itself finally <laughs> <laughs> there you go uh that's how then that's how the tech works it fixes yeah. itself it honestly that's where we're getting to yeah, um, everything just decides it wants to fix itself yeah speaking so. of fixing itself apparently uh, so adobe its apps will tell you when your graphics drivers are out of date that's awesome i'm sorry i i came to i came to realize that uh, earlier today, so I just wanted to, you know, because I that, didn't throw yeah, that in there. I didn't realize oh. that. Well, nice. So, um, but all right, guys, uh, I think we are about ready to wrap it up for yeah, the day. Yeah, I'm gonna start playing our music back. Um, um, what's uh, what's uh, what's our topic for for next week? We we going we going. Um, is that is that what we're kind of going at? Are we do five G maybe? hit on uh maybe talk on maybe some of the new consoles coming out uh yeah so so hot the hot tech of the week is gonna be you know we're gonna talk of the town and you know the xbox series x, x. and the and the uh and, and the also series s. series s series s yeah series s and x x and s oh wow Which is, okay yeah um and then and then uh and then we'll hit on the ps5 as well yeah um, and to all of you who have bought out the pre-orders just to turn around and sell them for twice the price, I hate you. I do as well. <laughs> so, because uh, I have not been able to get my pre-order for my PS5. Really? Not even yet? That, that, they, that sucks, man. I'm sorry. They, they rolled out... Oh, you just froze. Pre-orders. Again, uh, I think... Friday, Thursday morning or Friday morning. Yeah, it was it was something and here recently, and they just they're gone. They're gone. Uh, it was. Gone. I think it might have been like a Tuesday, because GameStop had them back on the twenty second. Yeah, twenty second. So that would yeah that would have been Tuesday, yeah, Tuesday or Tuesday. Wednesday or something. Tuesday. So, yeah. So uh, yeah, completely gone. Yeah, completely it's... gone by the time you know I work a normal job. I gotta get up and go to work, and by the time I realized that the pre orders were back out, they were gone. So, uh, so I have to keep checking over the weeks and see yeah. if I can't find my pre-order because I refuse. I refuse to pay eight hundred and fifty dollars for a PlayStation Five. So, okay, so they're going for like four hundred bucks. Man, they're yeah, they're, so, they're getting cheaper every yeah. year. So, so the so the oh, all right, I'm I'm done talking. We'll talk about yeah. it. Next. Yep. Yep. <laughs> nope. Yep. Nope. Yes. We're done. <laughs> yeah. So I'm um, done. We'll talk about it next week. Yeah. So. Uh, guys, thanks for tuning in. We love you. Thanks for the support. Uh, we are uh, back at it again oh, on yeah. the eighth. But guess no, what, guys? Per, no, per, oh yeah, no, yeah, eight. Ah, numbers. Eight. Yeah, eight. That that one is going to be live. Yes, we, we, live we, October eighth, eight forty-five p.m. Eight forty-five p.m. Yep. October eighth. And also, we will have graphics and stuff um and we won't just be sitting on black anymore and hopefully you know the more you guys like and subscribe and follow the more potential there is for some merchandise to oh yeah away. i'm Merch. i'm 
I don't go anywhere without a hat on, so... Yeah, uh, I, I also wear hats, um, which... Before too, I, before too long, a hat will be there, so oh, yeah, make that happen, sure. guys. Like, subscribe, follow, hit the Twitter, um... Don't know how you do an Instagram for, uh, for a tech show, but if we can figure out a way, we'll do it and we'll, we'll update maybe, you. M- but, maybe bloopers? I, I don't know. Possible. Very possible. Yeah. But, uh, guys, thank you for joining us. We appreciate you. Uh, and I guess, uh, Jake, let's hit the outro and yeah. let's, uh, let's wrap it up. We will see you next time. See Bye. you next week.